One of the most common questions I get is, why do people develop food sensitivities? And the development of food sensitivities really is a combination of us losing what's called immune tolerance, where our immune system starts to become hyperactive in response to foods. Things like leaky gut can do that. Things like dysregulated regulatory T cells can do it. There's a whole host of immunological things that take place that can really make us more prone to developing food sensitivities or food allergies. We also have a change of how we process foods. Uh, things like uh, protein hybridization and GMOs and use of pesticides and aflatoxins and different uh, uh, compounds like nitrates and sulfites in foods have really caused a lot of people to start have severe reactions of different food proteins. These are issues that can really cause inflammation in the body and something that you should really learn everything about. Common question people always have is, can you get rid of food sensitivities? And the answer is maybe. Uh, it really depends on what the mechanisms are. So for some people, they have food sensitivities because they have some things like leaky gut or intestinal permeability. Other people have developed food sensitivities because they're T cells or immune system is dysfunctioning. Other people have food sensitivities because they have an autoimmune disease that's turned on, causing similarity between their autoimmune target proteins and their food proteins. So there's a lot of different mechanisms and reasons why uh, you may or may not be able to get rid of food sensitivities. Now, food sensitivities, you may be able to do some things about as you improve your immune system and improve your health. Food allergies are a completely different story. And then genetic diseases like uh, celiac disease, it's very unlikely to be able to, for example, start to tolerate gluten. If you have food sensitivities, common reactions include joint pain, swelling, anxiety, respiratory skin issues, brain fog, bloating, fatigue, your ongoing flare-ups of your autoimmune condition. For instance, people with Hashimoto's may find certain foods worse than their thyroid symptoms, or someone with psoriasis may find their skin really flares up after they get exposed to foods. If you're like many patients, you visit a healthcare professional and they do an allergy or food sensitivity test and you may be more confused with the results than before you actually had any testing done. In my new course, Food Sensitivities, Solving the Food Intolerance Puzzle, I will answer these questions and teach you what the science says about food intolerances. Stuff that you just won't learn from an annual physical exam or just things that are listed out on the internet.